Hey, what's up guys? It's Elastic Sparty here, and in today's video we are looking at a Des Moines replay that I had yesterday. So, as school is wrapping up for me, I'm going to get a little bit more time to play World of Warships, and of course, why wouldn't I play one of my favorite tier 10s? Well, the Des Moines is, is one of my favorites because of the way that I play it. Uh, I love playing it with the reload mod, it just... It lends to gameplay that is just so exciting and exhilarating and just keeps you on your toes. Make sure that you're always angled to the most optimal target and it's just overall exciting. And we will definitely be seeing that here. So with that said, here are my uh, Captain, mo uh, Captain Perks and then also my modules. As I just mentioned, Reload Mod is, I guess, the what I built my my captain build off of, or my uh, my modules, and I guess captain build as well. Although, Des Moines captain build is quite standard, I would say. It's like a pretty typical cruiser. Um, of course, you got things like AFT and concealment, as well as superintendent, uh, among other things. So, so here we're going, I see this Hindenburg. I'm expecting him to turn out, and actually, uh, as you'll see here in a minute, uh, actually, can we see it? Okay, so the Hindenburg's by himself, but then there's going to be another ship that pops up that's going to be, uh, you know, making me start to question my decision of, of going in here. And there you see it, Des Moines and North Carolina. If we look on the map, North Carolina's there, Mogami's there. So Mogami's going to be probably popping up somewhat soon here. So this is actually making me extremely nervous. I, I was afraid I was going to get spotted. I was thinking about just turning out and kind of being safe. And, you know, hiding behind these islands and just spamming these guys. But, of course, that would not be fun. And uh, the only way to have fun uh, with this with this reload mod is just to go in balls deep and kind of hope for the best. So this Mogami gets spotted here. I've got the AP loaded. And let's see, he's about to commence his turn. And, well, first salvo goes out. I wish I could look at my shells, but uh, we won't need to look at my shells because... What do you get five citadels and one bounce? Well, does it really matter? And then another two citadels for another 12k. And then that guy's already on 1400 HP. And, well, he's dead for the first blood. So, uh, yeah, I'll take that that first 39k in a matter of, you know, 15-ish seconds. Uh, it's just a beautiful thing sometimes. Now the other thing I have to worry about is now I'm getting HE spam by Des Moines. North Carolina is going to shoot at me. Kutuzov it looks like as well. Hindenburg is also going to be here. So, well, you know, I haven't really done much yet. I've gone 42,000 damage in and now I'm at half health and I'm in a terrible position. Uh, and... You might be thinking, well, what, you know, this is, this is like, this is so stupid. Why would you want to put yourself nine kilometers away from a, a North Carolina, you know, Des Moines is within four and closing. Hindenburg's not too far behind at nine kilometers. There's a curve first running up your side. And presumably there's a DD somewhere that's in B. And, uh, well, I might be a little bit crazy. And that is completely okay by me. But uh, anything for the damage, right? So here, this Heisen Yang was nice enough to actually give me some smoke. I knew it probably wouldn't help me, but I, I did want want to use it to at least take the initial uh, initial spot off me, so that uh, oh boy, oof, so that when I uh, when I go dark, hopefully the enemy team will switch to a different target, and then I'll have an opportunity to you know kind of relax and get my heal back. So my goal right here is, of course, just to do that. Kind of use this island as nice protection. I mean, you see, we've got one, two, three, and even the North Carolina, he has got the best shot on me. But, of course, uh, he cannot shoot me. And even this Kerr first, I, I don't know if he can actually, uh, you know, loop it over that island. But uh, I'm going to pop my, my second heal of the game and just going to spam some HE. Now... I guess the one downside is, well, I can't keep shooting at this North Carolina after a certain point that you'll see somewhat soon here, uh, and I'll actually have to switch off. Now here, I 
I want to, I'm, I'm going to use my radar for two reasons. I want to keep these guys lit so that whatever ships are shooting at them, like the New Orleans or maybe the Bismarck, Charles Martel, I want them to focus this guy, these guys down. Uh, that's mainly because if they're dead, then I, I have a lot more, I, I can maneuver a lot more easily. And then also, uh, especially if this Des Moines dies, then I can uh, I can actually go out from this position, but that's of course not the case here. Hindenburg, you know, he was coming around the corner. I saw that there was a destroyer, so I moved forward. And oh my God, torpedoes fucking everywhere! So I'm glad I slowed down a little bit there. Kutuzov is starting to spam me now. He is about to uh, learn why you don't shoot at, at American cruisers uh, all that often. Hopefully, somewhat soon. Tyson Yang again was nice enough to smoke me. However, I'm within the two kilometer spotting distance of the Des Moines, so this might still hurt a little bit. Now I'm dark. Now, I know his radar is going to be back up soon, uh, so you know, I do have to be careful about that and, you know, of course, still try and angle my ship. Now, on, on the. Uh, looking back at this. I probably should have, you know, reversed off a little bit this island and then try and moved up here. But uh, either way, that's it's still okay. Um, you know, especially since I did get a radar there, I of course didn't want to be broadside to North Carolina when that happened. But uh, I end up, I end up, we end up killing the uh, the Des Moines, which was a very nice push by the Shimakaze and Heisen Yang, and now we've got a. Uh, a nice big Russian uh, cruiser, I guess you could say, right next to us, and somehow he goes dark. It's like two kilometers away. Not even. Oh my gosh. Uh, but I'm just going to keep the AP loaded here. Main reason is that's a 50 millimeter belt. I'm not petting that with HE. Uh, might as well just shoot HE. Uh, shoot AP and get normal penetrations, and that's why you were seeing a lot of penetrations and also a lot of aura pens as well. But. I felt more confident that I would kill that guy quicker because I, I wasn't sure if his torpedoes were loaded or not. Uh, so I wanted to kill that guy as fast as possible. So sticking with the AP there was the best choice that I had. Again, I here I hold my my uh, damage control because I still see this Kutuzov spamming me, and of course, if I've only got ten seconds left on my you know on my. Uh, you know, damage control, or my, f on the fire, you know, there's no point in, in risking me, uh, getting another fire set on myself. Now here, I probably, again, should have turned around, but me being a little bit crazy, and wanting to, you know, get a little bit of extra damage, I'm gonna kinda stay in this general v vicinity. I probably should have gone back a little bit, but whatever. Th that's something for you guys to learn from my mistakes, and I hope that, uh, you will learn from that. Gonna utilize this smoke a little bit here. It's not gonna last too long, so uh, you know, just gonna uh, use it for a little bit and then move out. Now, here I probably should have not fired that shot, uh, although I think I would I would have been spotted either way. So uh, I'm actually going to s turn my eight, my guns towards Kudzov. He can't. I know he can't penetrate me uh, with AP. I, I guess he could penetrate me, but he cannot sit it on me at this distance. He his uh, is you know the, those uh, six inch guns are not capable of penetrating my armor at ten and a half kilometers. So I'm not too worried about that. Uh, but he is doing a pretty nice job of angling. I do manage to get a citadel there and also a couple of fires. Of course, he is not liking my DPM advantage that I have, especially with the reload mod. But unfortunately, I am kind of in a tight situation here. I'm beaching myself in the worst possible situation. Uh, the ideal thing here would be just to turn right into the island so I'd beach quicker and then I can reverse. And I wouldn't be at this, this very weird angle that I'm at. But uh, either way... Uh, hopefully we can get out of this. Now uh, I didn't. I don't have any more heals, so uh, of course I can't heal any health back. So I do have to be careful. I, I do see this curve first coming up, and I'm tempted to shoot and and not shoot. But uh, at the end of the day, I see he's not looking at me, and I see that the Fletcher's kind of got him pinned. 
And I was hoping that he would keep coming around and wasn't paying attention to me. And, you know, he was forced to, you know, look at that Fletcher and keep his guns loaded for that Fletcher. But unfortunately, he beaches. I beach. And then he's just going to turn around and focus me to my death. But, uh, of course, I prob again, probably could have gone dark here. But he hasn't turned his guns yet. So I'm like, oh, well, might as well keep firing. Hopefully I can back up out of this in time. And unfortunately, uh, I do not back up fast enough. Kuzov is spamming me, but uh, how much I can do about that? And then you can start seeing his guns turn. And uh, and then there's my death shot. So ideally here, I, I probably should have stopped firing and uh, probably about 20, 30 seconds ago. And uh, and then kind of got repositioned myself. Of course, the initial push into this location was obviously not very good. If I had sat behind this island um, near D6, I would have been in a much better position to actually kill that Baltimore farm, that North Carolina, or even still shoot at that this gross curve first that is taking quite a few torps here. But uh, either way. Uh, that is the replay, and I, end up, I ended up with 175k, and, you know, just by me sitting in this position for another, uh, you know, 30, 40 seconds, I managed to get another 40k uh, damage from that position, so, you know, I guess you have to pick your battle sometimes, but I thought that was the right decision. So, uh, we're going to end up winning this, and let's check out the post-battle results. Alright guys, so looking at the post-battle results, well, unfortunately I am pink, there's a little bit of some shenanigans going on. A couple weeks ago uh, you know Friday nights are crazy but either way 175k damage got one lucky plane shot down two sh uh, two ships destroyed eight Citadel seven of which came on them actually they might have all been on the Mogami I know I, I got at least seven on that guy but uh, I also got a first blood on that Mogami and a high caliber as well which was very very nice team score wise 22 31 base XP not too bad of course I could have uh, if I had stayed alive a little bit longer, I could have increased that to maybe 2,500, you know, farming that Baltimore and, and even that uh, Kerr first and, and North Carolina as well. But, you know, it's still a pretty good game uh, for only, uh, I was only alive for 11 minutes just about. So, I mean, I'll take 175k in 11 minutes. Uh, of course, that is a very solid game. Almost got a wither, actually. Uh, I was quite close, only 6k off. I didn't realize when I was actually looking through the, the uh, post-battle results the first time, but uh, now that I do realize that, I was quite close to that. bit unfortunate there, I suppose. But I did take a lot of damage, and, and of course it is tier 10 cruiser, so you do get, you do get some nice heals. Uh, I know I managed... 84,000 uh, extra points of, uh, or not extra points, but total points of of health. So, you know, that's basically a, a tier 9 uh, battleship. So, I see that as a, a as good use. And I think in my last Des Moines video, someone was complaining that uh, I didn't use my consumables enough, and I hope that I pleased you a little bit more. At least I used all my heals this time. Uh, and I, I did use a radar, so I hope you enjoyed that one, whoever you are. Um, but, uh, and then the credits and XP-wise, it's it's whatever. I've got a premium account. I don't really need XP on this ship anymore. Uh, of course, Commander XP is nice. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this replay. If you did, leave a like. And please do subscribe if you aren't already. And anyways, I will see you in the next video.